faculty and the students to kindly occupy their seats. Great leaders don't set out to be leaders. They set out to make a difference. It is never about their role, but it's always about their higher goals. And we have assembled here today to honor one such great leader, an entrepreneur, a philanthropist, our beloved Chancellor Sir, Dr. N. M. Birey. Happy morning to one and all, and a very warm welcome to all the dignitaries, heads of various institutions and departments, faculty members, award winners, parents, students, and well-wishers who have graced this occasion today. I, Dr. Gunapriya Ragna, and I, Dr. Shruti, are privileged to be hosting the Founders Day celebration at Savita University at this beautiful morning. Nadana Mitra Nalina Nadana Porumori Nadana Namunachikadi Pradipadi Nadana Nam India Kalacharati Uranga Ido Nadana Tin Vailaga Namai Varaka Variran Savita Pal Marthua Kaduri Manavita. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together and welcome the talented bunch of youngsters from Savita Dental College. Ananda Nartha Naganapati Bhavaye Ananda Nartha Naganapati Bhavaye Ananda Nartha Naganapati Bhavaye Paramananda Nartha Naganapati Bhavaye Paramananda Nartha Naganapati Bhavaye Sadananda Nartha Naganapati Bhavaye Paramananda Nartha Naganapati Bhavaye Gajapadanam paramam paramanandam Gajapadanam paramam Hello, good 
lush green campus and happy and bright faces of the achievers. It is said that true leaders don't create followers, they create more leaders and our Chancellor is a living proof of the same. He has not only created this wonderful university and extended family of different specializations and arenas but also created leaders along the way by inspiring more people. And in the first segment of awards today we are going to felicitate such leaders who defy age as just numbers and make staggering contributions to this society. The first lifetime awardee today is Dr. P. S. Saha. Can we have the AV please? Dr. P. S. Taha is a multifaceted personality, an educationalist, an entrepreneur, a visionary and infinitely more. A native of Trivandrum and a proud alumnus of Trivandrum Government Medical College, Dr. Taha has achieved his post-graduation in the field of periodontics and oral implantology. He has enriched his professional prowess through extensive training in the US, the UK, South Africa, Malaysia, Singapore and the Middle East. A dynamic entrepreneur, Dr. Taha is the Managing Director of Taha Medical Group Abu Dhabi as well as the Managing Director of Dr. and Dr. Associates Private Limited, Trivandrum. 
Currently, he is making waves in the field of dental education as the chairman of PMS College of Dental Science and Research, Trivandrum, the first self-financing dental college in Kerala, which was established in the year 2002. The PMS College of Dental Science and Research is the first dental college to procure NAC accreditation in the state of Kerala. A lifetime member of the Indian Dental Association, the Asian Academy of Implant Dentistry, the Indian Institute of Oral Implantology and the Indian Society of Periodontics, he was a member of the Dental Council of India and was also a member of Norka Roots, nominated by the Government of Kerala. Among the many awards and recognitions he has received, the most commendable ones are for his outstanding contribution to dentistry, the Government of Kerala and the Kerala State Dental Council honoured Dr. Taha with the prestigious Dantha Sreshta Award in the year 2015. Dr. Taha was awarded with the Best Social Welfare Award by the Embassy of India Abu Dhabi and was also honoured by the Haume University of Spain. For his unmatched service to humanity and contribution to the profession, Dr. Taha was honoured with the Distinguished Alumni Award in the year 2020 as well as the Lifetime Achievement Award by the Government Medical College Trivandrum in 2022. His inspiring dedication to the field of dentistry has rightly bestowed him with the Dentist Excellence Award by the Indian Dentist Research and Review in the year 2002. Dr. Taha's eternal pursuit of excellence in dental education, quality patient care and impeccable community service is beyond inspirational. Dr. Taha is working towards nurturing talents in dentistry and creating job opportunities for dental graduates through provision of oral health care facilities in the rural population of Kerala. He is providing financial aid for the implementation of 50 dental clinics in rural Kerala. Dr. Taha's relentless effort to create dental professionals with the metal to carve their niche in today's world is testament to his vision that we are of the dentist, by the dentist and for the dentist. We now request Dr. P.S. Taha sir to please raise the dice and I request the Dean Savita Dental College to kindly accompany Dr. Taha to the stage. We also request our Vice Chancellor Sir, Dr. Chadaram Shivaji, Registrar Ma'am, Dr. Sheeta Vargis, to please accompany our Revered Chancellor Sir onto the stage to give away the prestigious award. Ladies and gentlemen, may we all put our hands together for Dr. P.S. Saha. University, especially the Chancellor Dr. Virayan, my colleague, and Dr. Deepak Nalaswamy for honoring me with this excellence award. I don't have much words. 
I have been projected so much in the video which I never thought that will be done by such a great university. The rank, the, the first rank, the university in India. I am really happy that the chairman, sorry, I mean the, the chancellor of the university is a dentist. We are really proud of such a great personality who started his career about 35 years, 40 years back and came up to this level of excellence in education. My passion, of course, being a dentist to provide the best service to the society and I do and I feel whatever I should do to be the best that is possible. That is why I wanted to do, focus on certain things which where I can excel and with, with the limited resources and limited facilities that I tried my level best to bring good education in dentistry in Kerala. And of course, my colleagues, my people, my friends, everybody has appreciated and they have supported me in my venture and thank you all for my support and that is given to me and of course I congratulate the great team of Savita Dental College with the Dr. Uh, uh, Shija Vargis, Dr. Vishnu Priya and other people and I have seen you know great women power in Dr. Shija Vargis and Dr. Vishnu Priya and the way they are working to the, for the college is commendable. I thank you all for the honor and that is given to me at this time and thank you, thank you very much the Chancellor. I really salute you sir for your great achievement and thank you sir. Thank you very much sir. Time for the next award now. Our next Lifetime Achievement Awardee is Dr. G. Shankar. Dr. G. Shankar, who believes that housing must be made as a fundamental right, is the founder and chairman of Habitat Technology Groups, which is the largest NGO in shelter sector in South Asia. With an architecture degree from College of Engineering Trivandrum, MS from Birmingham School of Architecture UK and a postgraduate diploma in journalism, Dr. G. Shankar with his concept of green architecture has brought about a much required qualitative change to the shelter sector in India. Inspired by the life and work of eminent architect Laurie Baker, Dr. G. Shankar has always given priority to the housing needs of the common man, the marginalized, the fisher folk the slum dwellers and tribals, which has earned him the title of People's Architect. Since 1987, he's also been the consultant for disaster mitigation in Sri Lanka and Maldives. He's also the chairman of the National Committee constituted by the Government of India to formulate guidelines on disaster resistant te building technologies. He is a consultant to the Orissa and UP government, as well as to international organizations of Netherlands, France and Germany. A master mason and people's architect, Dr. G. Shankar has received an honorary doctorate in 2019 from University of Asia, Kathmandu. He is also the recipient of National Award for Slum Rehabilitation Work instituted by the Ministry of Poverty Elevation, Government of India in 2004, the first Laurie Baker Award constituted by the Government of Kerala. Person of the Year Award by Indian Vision News Channel for the year 2005. In recognition to the distinguished services in the field of science and engineering, the Government of India in 2011 awarded Dr. G. Shankar with the Padma Shri, the fourth highest civilian award in the Republic of India. Now it's time for the AV, please.
Principals, Dr. G. Shankar sir, to please grace the dais. I request Principal Savita College of Architecture and Design to accompany Dr. G. Shankar. And we also request our beloved Chancellor sir, Vice Chancellor sir, and Registrar ma'am to do the honors. that you have made to the society by I am deeply impressed with the outreach programs that you have done. Uh, I do, truly believe that it's the poor people, it's the disposable people, it's the deprived people who inherit the earth. And uh, through your uh, tremendous work, incomparable work, you have touched the lives of many millions. And as a token of respect and appreciation, for the great work that you are doing in building up institutions which have come up to international acclaim. I have been looking at the awards and the patents and the search work uh, that you are doing. I mean, it's not building up institutions to uh, cater to the rich and elite, uh, but institutions that actually make our country very proud. Uh, thank you, sir, for the great this thing. I said, no, 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 I don't want to shake hands. I want to touch your feet because that's the way, Indian way of saying respect to you. Uh, all my life, I've taken a different route. Uh, they were actually reading out old, old, outdated biodata. Uh, I've received so many international and national awards. It doesn't really matter anymore. But this award is special to me uh, because it comes from an institution. That means quality in education. I am deeply touched uh, with your gesture uh, and uh, for the uh, youngsters out there, you know, uh, aspiring doctors and engineers and uh, dentists and the rest of them. Uh, let me tell you that you must have noted some of the uh, notings that came out uh, in the presentation. You have to dare to dream. We are going through difficult times. Covid times are here to stay. Disasters are going to be calendar events. Climate change is going to be reality. We have to overcome all these difficulties through innovation and creativity. That's the only way out. Innovative strategies, creative thinking, technical analysis uh, is the way out for every one of them. Uh, dare to dream. Take your road, less travel. And uh, my dear youngsters out there, that will lead to amazing, amazing vistas. That's my life story. Thank you again uh, for uh, giving me this great honor. Thank you very much. Thank you all. Thank you very much, sir. The next awardee to receive this prestigious award is Mr. Nachimutu. Mr. Nachimutu is an internationally recognized freelance rubber product industry consultant in Malaysia. He has completed his degree in business administration in Ottawa University and diploma in rubber processing in Rubber Research Institute in Malaysia. 
In 1982, he started his career as a conductor in the estate and continued as a supervisor in the rubber processing factories producing block rubber and concentrated latex. Then he became a production executive, Ultra Wind Rubber Products, Chemor, Perak in 2000. Within a year, he successfully improved the quality and became the first to manufacture a new product, cornstarch coated gloves. He has over 30 years of management experience in productivity, quality and innovation gained from medium to large scale MNC companies. Mr. Nachimuthu is a Perak SMC State Coordinator in Sri Murugan Center, which is an educational movement. He is actively involved in creating awareness on importance of education among the Indian community in Malaysia for about 30 years. Through this movement, he has reached more than 1 million Indian parents and students. About 28,000 Indian students have entered universities locally and abroad. He is one of the founding members of Perak Indian Education Development Foundation, which owes a plantation of 2,000 acres, Kalvi Estate, and the profits received from the plantation are distributed to poor Indian students in Perak State. As the Secretary of Malaysia Namakal Kongu Welfare Association, he has organized International Kongu Business, Culture and Education Development Seminar in Ipoh, Perak during the year 2014. He is a winner of several awards including Ali Marku Perak, the highest award presented by HR Sultan of Perak State and Best Social Service Provider given by Sentamur Cultural Association of Perak. He has also received recognition from Indian High Commission Kuala Lumpur for collaborating various cultural functions. Can we have the AV please? Dr. Virian Aurelie, 
மற்றும் இங்கே வரைக்கும் தெரிந்திருக்கின்ற பெரியோர்களே சகோதர சகோதரிகளே மாணவமணிகளே உங்கள் அனைவருக்கும் மலேசியாவின் வாழ்த்துக்களும் வணக்கங்களை தெரிவிக்கொள்வது மகிழ்ச்சி மகிழ்ச்சி அடைகின்றேன் இது எனக்கு கிடைத்த ஒரு விருது அல்ல இது மலேசிய இந்தியர்களுக்கும் குறிப்பாக பேரா மாநில இந்தியர்களுக்கு கிடைச்ச ஒரு மாபெரும் விருது என்று நான் கருதுகின்றேன் தொடர்ந்து இந்த விருது மூலியமாக இந்த சவிதா பல்கலைக்கழகமும் எங்களுடைய பேரா மாநிலமும் நிச்சயமாக தொடர்ந்து எங்களுடைய சேவை சிறப்பாக செய்வோம் அதற்கு ஐயா அவர்களுடைய ஆலோசனை ஐயா அவருடைய வழிகாட்டி நிச்சயமாக எங்களுக்கு தேவை ஐயா அவர்கள் எங்கள் ஊருக்கு வந்திருக்கின்றார் எங்கள் வீட்டுக்கும் வந்திருக்கின்றார் அவர் முல் முழி மூலியமாக நிறைய விஷயங்கள் நாங்கள் கற்றுக்கொண்டோம் நிறைய விஷயங்கள் செய்து கொண்டிருக்கின்றோம் தற்போது நாங்கள் செய்யக்கூடிய ஒரு மாபெரும் திட்டம் என்னவென்றால் பள்ளி மாணவர்களுக்கு கண் பரிசோதனை செய்வது ஏறக்குறைய நேற்று வரைக்கும் ஏழாயிரத்தி அறுநூறு மாணவர்களை நாங்கள் சோதனை செய்துவிட்டோம் வரக்கூடிய பனி டிசம்பர் மாதத்திற்குள் பத்தாயிரம் மாணவர்களே அதை அடைய வேண்டும் என்று எங்களுடைய இலக்கு ஆகியால் இந்த விருதின் மூலியமாக எனக்கு ஒரு மாபெரும் ஒரு கௌ கௌரவிப்பு அதே நேரத்தில் எங்கள் மாநில அரசர் கொடுத்த அந்த விருதை விட நான் இது பெரியதாக நான் கருதுகிறேன் ஐயா அவர்களுக்கு மீண்டும் என்னுடைய நன்றியும் வாழ்த்துக்களும் தெரிவிக்கொள்கிறேன் பல்லாண்டுகள் வாழ்க வளமுடன் வாழ்க வளமுடன் எல்லோரும் இன்னுமே சூழ்க எல்லோரும் வாழ்க நன்றி வணக்கம் Andri Ayya Moving on to prove that age is just a number we have two young achievers amongst us today The first young achiever award recipient is Dr Deepan Durey Swami fondly called as Dr D Dr Deepan is an accomplished cosmetic dentist and founder of Vogue Dental Studio Melbourne Australia Dental Studio specializes in porcelain veneers crowns and bridges invisalign clear aligners braces in chair teeth whitening and full comprehensive family and general dentistry dr d's passion for his work has motivated his ability to master and excel in each and every facet of the definition of dentistry he is one of the very few australian dentists who has cleared the world's apex body of cosmetic dentistry examination dr d fortifies his reputation by undertaking complex challenging and multidisciplinary cases with the least biological loss achievable though he practices with the most advanced technology he strongly believes in responsible aesthetics and values every individual's particular needs Dr D has treated some of Australia's biggest actors, singers, sports stars, models, TV personalities and reality stars. Dr D obtained his postgraduate degree in aesthetic dentistry program from King's College London. He also finished his masters of science in specialized orthodontics from Germany, two years PG training program in progressive orthodontics and digital smile design program for from Sydney. He is a certified member in Australian Academy of Dentofacial Aesthetics and a certified provider for dermal fillers and botulinum toxins in orthodontics. He is a member of various academic bodies like Australian Society of Implant Dentistry, American Orthodontic Society, American Academy of Implant Dentistry, Australian Dental Research Foundations to name a few. He is the recipient of Cosmetic Dentist of Melbourne Award in 2015 and in 2016 by International Association of Dentists. Can we have the AV please? Dr. D is a legend. Um, he's always so warm and friendly, and he goes above and beyond to make sure that you get the smile that you wanted. Party if I want, party if I want. If you only live once, that's all I need. So keep it blowing and I'll buzz just like a bee. He is the only person in the industry that I actually trust and he works with a lot of influencers and celebrities so I hands down 
We trust him any day of the month and I will only come to Dr. D. Just here to see Dr. Dirty, you might have seen him around, he's been one of the best in Australia, or worldwide. It makes me know you only live once before you turn to dust, I'm feeling fabulous, we're gonna misbehave. An absolute legend. Like, listen to everything I said, was so considerate. Hi guys, I'm Chef Sarah Todd and I'm here at Vogue Dental Studios with my favorite man, Dr. D. Dr. D was super awesome to work with. He has such an infectious personality. Yeah, I feel like I made a friend, not just a dentist. Dr. D is amazing, the best dentist in Australia. I've just had my teeth done by Dr. D and I love them. Dr. D, he's a man, really good person. He's got really good people around him and both dentals are the best of the best. So, love We request Dr. Deepan Durai Swami sir to please grace the dais and I request Dean of Savita Dental College to kindly accompany Dr. Deepan and we also kindly request our beloved Vice Chancellor sir, Vice Chancellor sir and Registrar ma'am to do the honours. Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Deepan Durai Swami. Thank you everyone. I'm not a great speaker. This is my first time on the stage and uh, coming back to the college after 18 years. And I have to thank each and every one here. And I don't know whether I fit into this award yet, but I'll keep working hard to one day feel like I belong to this award. How many of you are from dental? Students and dental crowd, Rumba come here again. College students, please make some noise. <laughs> so, yes, sir. It is such a such a nice feeling to come come in. And Ulla uh, Wandone, first and foremost, uh, everything's changed. Everything's changed for good. When I left, uh, uh, Dr. Deepak Nalasami just came back from his postgraduate education, and uh, as a student, we read his. Uh, handwritten prosthodontics uh, book when he was still in his final year and then by the time I finished I took an extra six months to finish uh, so I'll, uh, I'm a very good academic uh, achiever I took extra six months in pharmacology so 
uh, that's how outstanding I was. And uh, but to see Dr. Deepak Nalasamy come back from uh, from his overseas education and start implementing each and every uh, aspect of what he's learned overseas, and to make this institution a great, inspiring institution for others. Um, first first year, I saw all the when I graduated in 2004 and walked out. And I, I was still in touch to know what all changes is he, he's going to make and to make it into a world standard. Now he's excelled in that. Rather than filling up Chen, the Dr. Chancellor's shoes, uh, he has taken a different vision. And uh, he's humble, and we learn from his humbleness. And uh, I can't keep talking about him because he stayed as an inspiration for me, and I'm sure all of you would in the dental and or otherwise will feel the same. Uh, he has a vision and which is contagious to others in every other way. So I thank the, uh, take the opportunity to thank him personally for thinking about me for this award, but I'll make him proud one day. Uh, but moments are great. I've walked into the Dean's room twice. Once when I got in trouble with Dr. Bake and I was in the room uh, being reprimanded uh, and then the second time was when I got into trouble for prosthodontics exam I ran quickly into uh, again uh, Dr. Deepak Nalasamy's room and this time I was asked to sit in uh, when I came in this morning I was asked to sit inside the Dean's room it wasn't <laughs> it was surreal and uh, Arvind Nanna who was my senior is now Dean uh, it, it's a great moment to see all my uh, seniors, juniors and friends and staff uh, still sharing love, and I'm privileged and honored to be here. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Last but not the least, it is now time to facilitate our next young achiever, Master S. Danush. Master S. Danush is an emerging Indian swimmer who started swimming at the age of five, setting up his first age level national record at the age of 10. He was one of the seven young swimmers sent under JSW Sports Excellence Program to South Africa for a two-year trip. He first drew a serious attention of India's swimming officials by winning the gold in the 200 meters breaststroke at the Youth Olympic Trials in South Africa's Durban in 2016. The same year, he competed Treviso Swim Cup Italy. He was part of Indian quartet that won silver medal in 4200 meters medley relay in the ninth Asian Age Group Aquatics Championship in Tashkent, Uzbekistan in the following year. He's also a national champion with national records in under 12 age group category. He holds a double national school games record, 100 meters and 200 meters breaststroke in 20, 2016 under 19 category. He also holds multiple state and zonal records. In 2021, he has won the gold, two silver, two bronze medals in 74th Glenmark Senior National Aquatic Championships, Bangalore, and three golds, two silver in the All India Inter University Aquatic Championships held at Odisha in 2022. Can we have the AV please?
We request Master S. Dhanush to please grace the dais and I request Dean Sports to accompany Master Dhanush to the dais. We also request our Chancellor Sir, Vice Chancellor Sir and Registrar Ma'am to do the honours please. Ladies and gentlemen, can we all put our hands together for Master Danush? Sir, Vice Chancellor, Sir, Registrar, Ma'am, and all the dignitaries sitting here. It is an honor to be here, to be, on, to be a part of this very special day. Uh, as you might have seen, I like, I'm not very good in academics. I just uh, finished my UG in Anna University. I did B Computer Science, and I've enrolled in MBA here in Savita School of Management. So, uh, this moment, I want to say thank, thank you to my parents, family, and friends and for everyone who has been there for me. And special thanks to Mr. Valvi Maraja sir. He has been supporting me for the past 12 years. Uh, just uh, thank you. Thank you everyone. 